Components are one of the key building blocks of our application. The cleaner, stronger, and more durable we make these blocks, the better our application. So, how can we make our components better? Strong typing helps minimize errors through better syntax checking and improved tooling. But what if there is no predefined type for a property? To strongly type a property that has no predefined type, we define the type ourselves using an interface. If a component needs special styles, we can encapsulate those styles within the component to ensure they don't leak out to any other component in the application. A component has a life cycle managed by Angular. Angular provides a set of life cycle hooks we can use to tap into key points in that life cycle, adding flexibility and responsiveness to our application. As we saw in the last module, pipes provide a convenient way to transform bound data before displaying it in the view. We may have other application-unique data transformation requirements. Luckily, we can build our own custom pipes. Anytime we build and test a component once and nest it in several places in the application, we have minimized development time and improved the overall quality of the application. In this module, we explain interfaces and demonstrate how to use them to strongly type our objects. We look at how to encapsulate component styles. We introduce the component lifecycle and how to hook into its events. And we detail how to build a custom pipe. We cover building nested components in the next module. Looking at our application architecture, in this module we'll add features to improve the productless component. Let's get started.